Hello, nostalgic fam. Look where I'm at. Hell, how cute. This is not the place for majoring in nostalgia with a concentration in catnaps. But here I am, yet again, moved into my college dorm and outside in the field making a video for you awkwardly with people constantly walking in the background and trying to make me feel more uncomfortable than I already am with existing. Update, move-in day was a flop, big surprise. I was overly ambitious and raised my bed way too high to get that like college dormy feel and to also make more room for all my space so I could shove it underneath. <laughs> but now I can't move the rest of my stuff in until I get that fixed. Because your bed is literally 90% of your room when you're in college and if the bed is wrong, you have to move everything around and then if you put stuff in the things you need to move around, it's harder to move. It's kind of complicated, but it makes sense why I can't move in, trust me. The way my bed is now, it's way too hard to get in and out of and that's not as much a problem for me as it is for Finnick. If you guys have seen the video that I made about my cat, he has kind of weak back legs and he's kind of shaky and discombobulated in general. So it's, I, mm, I don't want him that high up and I want him to be able to sleep with me comfortably. So I need to fix that immediately. I couldn't even put makeup on today because I can't get to my stuff because then I'd have to unpack all my stuff and then, so now I'm forced to wait patiently for maintenance, which is like my least favorite thing to do. That way I can start making my room more comfortable via band posters and cluttery decoratives. In the meantime, I'm sort of like a sitting duck with all of my stuff packed in boxes, and I am kind of living out of those for the time being, which makes me very, very anxious. Speaking of anxiety, wow, school makes that so much worse. If any of you feel the same, I hope this makes you feel less alone, because as necessary as school might be, it is pretty toxic. The people I'm dorming with are lovely, so it's not their fault, but I'm just a mess. Here's my advice to people who are starting school and are feeling really overwhelmed already. Be patient with yourself and try your best not to judge yourself for not having your life where you want it to be yet. In case you haven't heard, most goals don't get accomplished overnight, my friends. I know, this is news to me too. So instead of hating on yourself for not being where you wanna be in life, try your best to get there and be patient and reward yourself in the time being. Go slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Like the tortoise. Ooh, another thing. I should basically just at myself with this one, but I'm sure it applies to a lot of people. Give it your best effort not to compare where you are in your life with other people. We all have different struggles and move in our own pace forward or backwards or forward and never again ever anywhere. That's me. <laughs> I am so bad at advice. I'm not saying this is easy because I struggle with these problems too and school only amplifies it to the 11th degree, but it's something that should be accounted for. <laughs> Momos keep walking by. Did you lose a dog? <laughs> yeah. You did? He ran through, like kind of around there. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of funny. Probably they come back out or I'll meet him on the other side. All right. <laughs> I move the camera when people walk by because I feel like they'll like yell at me for having them in the camera, but I forgot to turn the camera off. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little interaction. <laughs> I'm sorry for my existence. If you can challenge yourself to find a group of friends that genuinely enjoy your company, I have a feeling that that would probably make high school and college a lot easier to go through. Uh, in college, I've met like a couple friends who I've lived with and that's definitely helped a little bit. I'm getting eaten alive out here. I hate being outside. I'm dead right now. I feel s plain. Oh my God, hurry plane. The sun is going down. I don't have time for you. Hurry up. How many miles per hour are you going and you can't just get out of my area for a little bit? Oh my God, get away from me. I feel so attacked. It's not safe outside. I mean, I'm glad that the sun's gone, but now all the buggies are home. Get the... I missed. 
what was I doing again? Oh yeah, <laughs> I was trying to give people advice. It's not been going well. I kind of wanted to just make this video because I feel like school sucks and a lot of people are probably in that rut right now, even though it's like in the process of the syllabi being handed out. You little... It's still really hard. So I figured I'd make this video to kind of reach out to you guys who are having a hard time with it. All these dog walkers and bike riders, even though like the sun is gone, they're still like infiltrating my like little film area and I'm totally not into it. Plus all these bugs are mini Satans and I'm just not feeling it. So we're going inside where it's safe. Let's go. Now that I have successfully snuck my way in from the depths of salt marsh insect life eating me alive, I am now in the music room at my university. Practice room. Practice music room. Place. <laughs> I come here a lot because it's quiet, it's like a nice way to kind of get away, and it's the best place to film honestly because even though it's not very aesthetically pleasing in the background of me, it's very quiet. The walls in this room cancel sound, so it's good to be in here and make a fool of myself because other people can't laugh at me. The only people that can laugh at me are the people that I publicly post this video for them to laugh. So, <laughs> it's an interesting concept really. I don't wanna be laughed at while I'm filming, but I hope people chuckle and relate when they are watching this video after my filming and it's publicly posted. It's kind of like the similar thing as like when you do something stupid, you kind of were like really upset about that or like embarrassed, but then later on you laugh at it. That's kind of what my whole YouTube channel is about. But yeah, where was I? What is the whole theme of this? Oh yeah, back to school advice. So I'm sucking at that. But let's try again. Give yourself breaks when you need it. That is so important. That is so important. If you need to climb under the covers and play Overwatch for five hours, you have to do that. It's something you have to owe yourself. If you need to take a really long shower and waste all the hot water, do it. You, you have to do what you gotta do. You only live once. And if people are ever hard on you or kind of give you a whole ton of ish for not trying hard enough, that is BS because we are all doing the best we can and I, you, you just, listen, those people, this is what I have to say to you. Fork yourself. If you're living in school and you're in your dorm and it's just too much for you, take space away. Take a nice little walk. That might be good. School is hard and adjusting to all that social awfulness is just literally exhausting and totally something I wish I'd never had to do in my life. But you've got this. I have faith in you. It's also good to set goals for yourself. I've learned this. <laughs> this is something I've learned. It only took me 21 years, but setting goals for yourself is actually not bad. It's not lame. It's not that bad. It's horrible, but it works, kinda. At least try. My goal, my goal that I'm setting for all of you guys is to try to set a goal. One goal. I have some long-term goals. Since I've moved back into school, I've set some long-term goals. Okay, so my goals so far are I wanna exercise more than I'm on campus because I don't have an excuse. There's a treadmill right in my dorm room. So I really wanna start doing that because I've been gaining a lot of weight and it's kind of making me feel really bad about myself. So that's something I really wanna try and do. Two, I want to post more regularly on this channel because I did that for like one week after I said I was going to do that and then I stopped doing that because I was dog sitting for a week and that was tragic without internet and it was just, I couldn't do it and plus I didn't have any alone time so now that I do, I'm going to try my best to post two times a week here and one time a week on the collab channel I just joined which is called Hourglass Hearts. It's a beautiful little channel. so. If I haven't told you guys about that yet, I did join a collab channel. It's basically different alternative YouTube personalities and we all kind of make a video on different days of the week. So that's really cool. I'll be doing that on Sundays. So please feel free to subscribe to that. I'll leave the link to that channel below in my description. So actually, wanna know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna also put <laughs> it in the end links. So yes, I will put that in the end links so you will see the little picture come up and you will subscribe to it if you want. I hope, please, support me. 
leave a comment on my introduction video. That would be really cool. Some of you already have, and I love you all. Much love. Another goal I have for myself, back to this, <laughs> I also want to start and maintain a job because that is something I need to do. I'm literally broke AF and I want to go to Five Below and get a whole ton of stuff. So I want to be able to do that. <laughs> I also don't fit into any of my clothes anymore. So if the exercising thing doesn't work out, I need to be able to have money to be able to buy clothes that fit me because like literally I feel like a marshmallow sausage. And then of course the no brainer goal that I have is just to do good in my classes and go to them all, which I'm actually pretty good attendance wise. I never really skip class on purpose. And yeah, so <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. And I hope you guys do too, because school is important. Your education means a lot more than we probably all think it does. And I'm actually really thankful that I'm here. So I know I'm kind of like bashing school, but it's really good that I'm here and I'm thankful for this and for my lovely mom because moms are awesome and mine is the best. Don't at me. <laughs> okay, for those of you guys that don't know me, I literally incorporate Twitter lingo into my everyday life and it's so sad. It's, I don't know, lately it's just getting a lot worse. Like the other day somebody was complimenting the smell of their hand sanitizer and I think I said, I get high off hand sanitizer, a thread. <laughs> and I literally cringed so hard, but I laughed at myself because that's kind of my thing. Yes, final takeaways from this video. School sucks, but we have to do it, and I hope you guys are holding up well, because I care about you. Two, don't be afraid to laugh at yourself, because that's sort of something that I've been doing for a while, and I'm not dead, so it's working out. And three, setting goals for yourself isn't the end of the world, and it actually might help you progress into something that maybe you're gonna be proud of later. So I highly encourage you guys to do it. I'm gonna do it, and I will hold myself accountable and let you guys know in my videos occasionally with updates and sometimes on Twitter, actually all the time on Twitter if we're being real. I've recently become super hella addicted to Twitter and <laughs> there's no stopping me. I'm a Twitter fiend. Twitter is a place like no other and I live there. I love it. It's a good one because Twitter you can literally say anything on and it can be like a quick little idea or a humorous thought. You can make lists. You can post little videos, you can make little gifts of yourself that no one will look at. You can do all of that and <laughs> people will like it or retweet it to be like, yes, I agree. And I see you and I will like this. <laughs> and it's just a nice place, I enjoy it. So follow me on Twitter. And now to feature some of my lovely favorite humans in this world. It's only a few of you because there's only so much time in the world to talk about how much I love you all and here we go. I'm gonna go feature some of you guys' tweets, Instagram posts, and whatever. The handle of whatever social media platform that is, is on the bottom of your username. I tried. If you aren't subscribed yet to me or to Hourglass Hearts, please do that. I will have both of the little face thing subscribe options on my channel, and I'll have the link to Hourglass Hearts below, which is the collab channel I joined, and it'll be swell. So please hit the bell for the post notifications on both of those. It would mean a lot to me to see some of familiar usernames commenting. It would be like, ah, I know you, look at you. You stand me, that's so cute. I never thought this day would come. Please comment to me how your back to school experience has been going so far because I do care about you all and I hope the best for you. And if it's going bad, honestly, same. So just know you're not alone and I'm here for you. You can DM me on something and I'll try and get back to you as quick as I can. Lastly, don't judge people, just hug people. Always be kind to yourself and others and always, most importantly, keep it cringy.